Welcome to clickmyproject.com Our product title is Hybrid Modulation Scheme for a High Frequency AC Link Inverter Now we are going to discuss about our product abstract In this paper, I describe a hybrid modulation scheme for High Frequency AC Link Multi-Stage Inverter compressing the Front End DC Converters This is the main objective for Removable the DC link filters even the conventional fixed DC link inverters placed after the AC pulsating DC converter stage. After and before and end of the stage voltage source inverters. The second we are using the switching losses of the inverter by reducing the high frequency switching requirement of the pulsating DC to AC converter by two third held high frequency. Now we are improve the voltage utilization and reduce the current stress. Unlike the frequency DC link approach in the high frequency AC link approach, hybrid the modulation enable the sine wave modulation switching information at the output of the AC pulse station DC to AC converter rather than filtering the fixed DC, reducing the high frequency switching requirement. Our process, the pulse stating uh, DC to AC converters overall the following the hybrid modulation scheme and operation of the high frequency AC link inverters using the hybrid modulation scheme. And then the last one, the compression of the efficiency of losses, current stress and the harmonic distortion between the high hybrid modulation based the high frequency AC link inverters. And then uh, fixed DC link inverters, the experimental of validation and the noted by the term of the hybrid modulations. So no similarity with the modulation scheme, the hybrid modulations. The hybrid converters, two type of the converters based on the slow and fast device reported the literature. In term of the hybrid modulation scheme is simple chosen because at any given time only one leg of the under high frequency while the other two legs do not switch. The outline the hybrid modulation scheme is unlike the all reported discontinuous modulation scheme so as the input is a DC and not the pulse stating modulation DC. At most we have one leg of the stays permanently the DC to AC inverters. Now we are going to discuss about our product flow diagram. Oh, this is the input for the source DC voltage. And now we are giving the DC voltage for uh, under voltage. And then the, this uh, DC voltage we are, we are going to the, uh, convert the AC voltage. So this section saw uh, DC to AC converter sections. And then we are using the nine switches for frequency held, but the expensive magnitude of the capacitor filters element the topology stretches. And then we are giving the get the AC voltage and the transform we are using the this transform we are giving the using the uh, DC to AC and AC to DC converters we are getting from the uh, 9 uh, diode gate voltage frequencies and then AC pulse stating DC converters we are getting the uh, DC voltage and get the breakdown the voltage attain the higher communicate frequencies for the uh, high frequency AC link inverter topologies the novation hybrid modulations and then modulations we are getting the DC uh, to AC voltage it get the PWM is the frequency of the modulation schemes unlike the reported modulation schemes and then primary role of the modulation schemes the single base pulse stating DC to AC uh, converters and then we are getting the AC to converters we are connecting the load uh, approximately we are getting the uh, which connecting using the load we are using the uh, high frequency AC link now we are going to discuss about our running procedure the product we have developed the simulating tool for the MATLAB 2009 versus uh, now we are giving the input for the DC voltage it, uh, and then the converter models is using the converters they are using the switching frequencies the low switching frequency help the bulk the expensive magnetism and capacity filters elements the uh, complex topology structures 
so the higher communication frequency is the same the device switching fre frequency if the isolation is recorded the conversion transforms and then we have using the material uh, also held the heavier and the costly is the reason we developed the uh, sigmos uh, fat and the uh, say the scaki diode and with the higher the thermal conductivity the on the thermal substance and higher permeability and efficiency of the transformers we are using the overcome some these limitations clearly the feel of the cap isolated high power and high frequency systems and how the attain this uh, significant attentions with the records the applications including the renewable alternative energies based to the systems and then uh, towards the goal of the two frequency topology have the reserved attention of first topologies for the dc to ac converters and then we refer the high frequency ac link topology the second uh, topology which is refer to the uh, fixed dc link topology is obtained from the dc link capacity at the output of the ac positive link dc converters both topologies have front front and end the high frequency dc to ac converters followed by the ac pulsating dc converters and support the galvanic isol isolations the two topologies differ the two output of the stage the output stage of the fixed dc link topology is dc to ac voltage source inverters is that proceed the decoupling link capacitors while the last stage of the high frequency ac link topology is a pulse trading dc to ac converters which is not preserve the any decoupling link capacitors for that more the high frequency topologies and dc to ac converters is operated with the sine wave modulation the pulse pulse trading dc to ac converter is operated by the hybrid modulations for the fixed dc link topology and the dc to ac converters operators with the square wave from the final stage of the dc to ac converters and the next uh, the high frequency inverter topology is a new innovation of the hybrid no modulations have been the forward and high frequency topologies the modulation schemes report are the discontinuous modulation schemes where the input the dc and not the pulse trading dc and the overview of the hybrid modulation schemes for high frequency inverter operations the concept are regarding the operations of hybrid modulation schemes led the evolution of the switching sequence of the output stage pulse staging dc to ac converters given the pulse stating dc to dc link voltage waveform at the output of the ac pulse stating dc rectifiers the pulse stating uh, dc link voltage is down uh, evolves from the bipolar high frequency modulation output voltage wave from the front end high frequency dc to ac converters the two active phases of the dc to ac converter because only maximum base to base voltage of the dc to ac converters feed ac pulse trading dc converters a great balance of three base output using the pulsating dc link voltage at the output of the pulsating dc to ac converters the two leg of the latter do not change the switching this stage at all the third leg has to be switched to the reconstruct the remaining output base so now we are uh, going to see the our product uh, output uh, screen so Uh, this is our output for the scope modulation so 